to my very own show. I'll introduce my friends to you. Oh no, it's Nitty Poo. Shooby dooby doo wah wah. My name is Angela, and you are not. The net man war is a stuff up jerk face hat. And now to today's story, starring me, and not starring the net man war. <laughs> Today I am having a ball because today I finally have a babble ball. And it wasn't easy to get on account of I had to go two weeks without bubble gum or pizza. And I even did charge my stupid brothers to save up enough money to buy it. <laughs> Nice ancient artifact, Angela Anaconda. Didn't you get the memo? Babble balls are passe. Bug thugs are the rage now. Everyone's, everyone's got, got one. <laughs> that is, everyone except you. <laughs> everyone's got a brain except for you three. Who cares about bug thugs, Angela Anaconda? Your babble ball is superior in design and concept. You're right, Gina Lash. Besides, the last thing I want is anything that Nanette Manoir has. Who cares about some stupid stuffed insect anyway? Hi, Angela. Can you hold my Ernie the mm. earwig while I sanitize my glasses? Unless Gina Lash wants to. <laughs> Angela can hold it. I don't see what the big deal is about these things. You stink. Huh? Hey, did you hear that? What else does it say? Just more insults, 24 hours a day. I know you are, but what if I? Thanks for holding him, Angela Anaca Anaca Anaconda. Hey, Angela, catch. <coughs> hey, careful where you throw that thing, Johnny Abadi. Sorry, Angela, I thought you were playing. I am. I mean, I'm going to. I mean, I think I have to do a little research on these bug thugs, you know? So I can decide how big a waste of money they actually are. Hi, Candy Mae. I'll help you with your math homework if you let me check out your bug thug. Um, okay, but math isn't as easy as you think. Carry the six, and there, done. Oh. Hold on, Angela. Huh? Two times two is four. Oh. Two plus two is four. Mm. So two times two has to be way more than that. Like five huh? or six. The deal's off. <gasps> <laughs> Too bad, loser. Uh. Not now, Angela Anaconda. Polly the Praying Mantis and I are right in the middle of a rosary, and we don't want to lose count of a hundred Hail Marys. But I just want to see it. Sorry, my child. What if I trade you something for it? Your little baby sister. Just think, Josephine. You'll be able to start your very own orphanage. Have mercy on me, Angela Anaconda. I don't want to take care of orphans. It's bad enough I have to take care of my own brothers and sisters. But baby Lulu's not even baptized yet. Don't you want to save her soul? Faster than Robo Souls? There are no such shoes. My dad just got a shipment of them in today. They're called, um, um, really fast shoe, uh, or soul. Oh, just let me borrow your bug thug. <laughs> Angela Anaconda, I can't believe you're resorting to trickery to try to get a bug thug. I thought you didn't even want one. I don't. I want to check it out, you know, see how it works. For the sake of medical curiosity's sake. The last time you did something for the sake of medical curiosity, Johnny Abadi had to get six stitches in his left hand. Make like a tree and leave. I really don't want a bug thug, you know. Hmm. Okay, fine. So maybe I do want a bug thug. But it doesn't matter anyway on account of I spent all my money on this stupid babble ball. But Angela, babble ball is all that and more. Or at least that's what they said in the commercial. Hey, since you guys like the babble ball so much, why don't you buy it from me? So I can buy a bug thug. No can do, Angela. I'm saving up for that three-foot eclair in the window at Mapperson's Bakery. I just loaned my last dollar to my Uncle Nicky. Again. Great. Now I'm back where I started, which is not having a bug thug. Join the club, Angela Anaconda. That's just what I'm trying to do, Gina Lash. Even though 
though Johnny and Gina couldn't loan me some money, I have scrounged up enough so I can buy my very own bug thug of my very own. Sold out! Uh, sorry, Angela. I'm afraid I had to buy up the remaining stock to complete my bug thug kingdom. I certainly hope I haven't inconvenienced you. John, would you care to join me for an afternoon of bug thug fun? I don't think so, Nanette. I promised Angela I'd... Ow! Uh, I forgot to tell you, Johnny Abadi. I'm busy this afternoon, so why don't you go play with Nanette? While you're at it, tell her something nice, like her hair smells good, so she'll give you one of her bug thugs. But I don't even like bug thugs. Then maybe, if Nanette gives you one, you could pass it on to one of your really good friends. Cory's already got a bug uh... thug. <gasps> oh, you meant you. Ready to go, John? Oh, brother. So now, Johnny Abadi is inside playing with Ninny Wart, and I am outside on account of desperate times call for desperate measures. And my desperate measure is hoping Johnny will get me one of Nanette's bug thugs. Badminton? This is no time to hit birdies, Johnny Abadi. Johnny, hear my psychic plea and read my mind. Get me a bug thug. Bug thug. Bug thug. It's working! Ugh. I win again, John. My far superior badminton skills make it so difficult to find an equal partner. Care to join me while I adjourn to the indoors? Oh, I... Uh, your, your hair smells pretty. Hmm... So now I have to listen to Ludwig von Loser Manoir torture her violin string? No bug thug is worth this. Hey, Angela, what are you doing up there? I'm waiting for you to give me a bug thug. What bug thug? Oh, hello, Angela. Are you gathering acorns or building a nest? Actually, I was just leaving. That's a relief, seeing as John and I are late for the Bug Thug Club, a very exclusive club, of which I am the founder and president. And secretary of stupidness. Wait a minute, Nanette. How come I get to go? I don't got a Bug Thug. Now you do. Coming, John? Huh? You did it, Johnny! You got me a Bug Thug! Uh, actually... You're keeping it? I didn't know it'd be so funny. Take a picture. It lasts longer. <laughs> <laughs> Now Johnny Abadi's caught the bug thug craze too? This has gone too far. Ah! So, all my creepy crawly friends want to go to the bug thug club, eh? <laughs> well, I am thinking that I'll have to crash your party. I hope you don't mind me dropping in, I will say. But who am I, you ask? I, the babbling crusader, will defeat ah! Nincom Pupa and break the bug thug spell that has hold of this town. On account of this craze has gone too far past far enough. <laughs> help me, help me! You will whine. The babbling crusader is threatening to take away my bug thug kingdom, which I deserve to lose because I was selfish and bought out the entire store. Sorry, little girl, I will heroically tell you. I cannot help you out. On account of the babbling crusader is a sworn enemy to evil supervillain Nincompoopa, who, did I mention, is evil. Back, you insipid insects, you horrible hornets, you miserable mosquitoes, I will warn. Oh, no! The evil Nincompoopa is fighting back with her evil mind control violin. Must not listen. <gasps> chaka chaka boom, bye bye. <laughs> so long, Ninkum Pupa, the babbling crusader will say. The party's over for you. <laughs> Thank you, oh brave and brilliant babbling crusader, for breaking the bug thug spell and saving us from the evil Ninkum Pupa. But we must know your true identity. No can do, my adoring crowds, I will say. For Angela Anaconda, I mean, the babbling crusader has other rights to wrong. Sleep well, Tapwater Springs. I shall never be far away. The Brainwash Bug Thug Club needs my help. Hello, Bug Thug Club people. I have come to put a stop to the crazed Bug Thug craze. I say that enough is just about enough. Uh, well, that was easy. I guess you didn't get the memo. Bug thugs are tray passe. 
What? Since when? Since five minutes ago when we voted on it. Rainbow Sparkle Gum is now La Boom, which in case you didn't know is French for the bomb. I guess you're right, Nini Poo. Your gum really is Le Boom. My work here is done. <laughs> 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 Today is the most boring Sunday of any Sunday ever. I am so bored that I am playing with toys I haven't even seen since I was two. I'll get it! <gasps> Grandma Lou! Hey there, Amjur Pamjur. Come give your granny a big old squeeze. <laughs> Grandma Lou is my favorite. And my favorite thing about her is that I am her favorite too. Mom, what a surprise. How are you, son? How do you hold you in, honey? I, I know I should have phoned ahead, but I had to move fast. You see, my pet gator, Barney, went and ate Sheriff Boone's prize hound dog. Need a place to lie low for a spell till things cool off. Besides, high time I saw my favorite grandkids again. Angela, and where's that namesake of mine, little Lulu? There you are, gator bait. Oh, dang nation, you're a cutie. <laughs> oh, and of course, um, uh, the boys. <laughs> Derek and Mark. <laughs> it's great to see you, Mom. Uh, uh, why don't we get you settled in? You could stay with me in my room with me. That'd suit me fine. Oh, I think you'd be more comfortable in the guest bed in baby Lulu's room. Yeah, and uh, we can wheel the baby's crib in with you, Angel Wings. <laughs> So now, to make up for Mom's idea that was bad, I am making up my own idea that is good. Uh, come on, King. Do what you always do. Good girl. And now for the feather trick. Stop laughing, baby Lulu. This is serious. That's better. Mom, I think baby Lulu is sick. Oh my, she's all flushed and clammy. King too? That does it, Mom. We can't have anyone exposed to all these germs. Ugh. You take Angela's bed, and we'll set up a cot next to you for her. Angel Wings, will you grab Grandma's suitcase? I'd be delighted. Is Sheriff Boone really on your trail? Want me to keep a lookout in case he tracks you down? Oh, don't worry, honey. That man couldn't find his own keister with a compass. Oh, my Barney. Mm. I just love that gator. I like to feel at home. I know how that is, Grandma Lou. On account of I always sleep better looking up at my own personal autographed picture of astronaut. Uh, what were you saying, Angelfish? Oh, nothing. I ever tell you how I hooked this little feller? Here comes one of Grandma Lou's stories, which my dad says are larger than life, on account of she has lived a life larger than anyone has ever lived. Well, it was the hurricane of 52, and there I was in a little fishing boat off the Florida Keys with Ernie Hemingway. Then there was old Mungo, Barney's dad, meanest dang gator that ever drew breath. Did you know some snakes have armpits? But Grandma, I got school tomorrow, so maybe we should... School? Yeah, we had a school in the swamp once, uh, I ever tell you. Teacher oh. got bit by a water moccasin, and that oh. was the end of that. Uh, of course, once. Ah. Uh, Grandma? Yeah! Uh, what is it, Possum? Mm. Oh, that's just old Hickory. You know him. Barney's dad, Mungo, got my real one, remember? Yeah, but I've just never seen old Hickory without the rest of you. Well, can't sit here admiring him all day. Promise I take you to school, so come on, let's saddle up. Barney's dad? Uh, once I got old Mungo in the <gasps> hammer lock, he simmered <gasps> down pretty quick. <laughs> of course, I still hadn't figured out why I couldn't feel nothing in my left leg. <gasps> Oh. Well, so long, Swamp Buddies. See you back at the ranch, Griddle Cakes. She embraces life. 
<laughs> with a gusto most of us can only dream about. Très amusing. If you like people who are incredibly gauche, which is French for... Um... Left. <gasps> As in, I'm certainly glad she left. If there is someone who should have left, it is you, Nanette Manoir. <gasps> I'm on your side, Angela Anaconda. Even we Manoirs of our share of embarrassing poor relations. You've got to be careful, or they'll try to move in permanently. She's not a poor relation, she's Grandma Lou. And she's just here on a visit. A short visit. Just in time, Angie Pansy. Get on in here, my favorite show's on. I'd like to, Grandma, but I promised Johnny a body I'd play Human Cannonball, and then we're gonna go. Oh, heck, you can do that any old time. But it ain't every day they got the senior dog racing circuit on the TV. And now, they slowly round the far turn with Snaggletooth, a wily veteran, creeping up on the outside. Is this in slow motion? <laughs> That's a good one. You're watching some of the finest racing dogs ever. At least they were in their day. How many days ago was that? And now it's all You know the one thing sharks can't abide? Pecan pie. Know how I know that? Well, I'll tell you. So even though I love my Grandma Lou, something has got to give. And now I'm thinking that something will be my cot. Sleep tight, Angelfish. <gasps> oh, it broke. Guess I'll have to get my bed back and Grandma will have to sleep with Baby Lou after all. Afraid we can't do that. Lulu's still sick. <gasps> Oh, no. She's really sick for real now? No problem. We'll just bunk together, won't we, Angie <laughs> Benji? You and me and uh, old Hickory. <laughs> <laughs> so even though my Grandma Lou and me have always been close, now I am thinking that maybe we are a little too close. First, I will think that maybe Grandma Lou and I could use a little fresh air and a little elbow room. Or in her case, a little leg room. So I will give her some space. On account of I have heard that outer space is awfully nice this time of year. Have fun, but don't hurry back. What? Back so soon? Maybe a cruise would cure your blues. Bon voyage! Uh-oh! Looks like I'm coming along for the ride. <laughs> oh no, Grandma Lou! You look all worn out. What you need is a vacation from your vacation. Uh-oh! Or maybe a date with your good friend, Sheriff Boone. Grandma Lou, come out of the house with your hands. Leave that poor girl alone. Sheriff Foon will say. You're driving her crazy. <laughs> you. And now for some peace and quiet. No! Okay, that does it. It is time for me to do what a kid who loves her grandma should have done a long time ago. Rise and shine, Angie Pangy. Your granny's got another surprise for you. It is time for me to hide. <laughs> ah! uh, uh, <laughs> hey, this isn't the bathroom. Grandma Lou, what are you doing? I'm heading back to face the music. It ain't that I don't love you to pieces, honey, but it's time your Grandma Lou was going home. Swamp's where I belong. And these suburbs give me cabin fever. Yeah, but... 
Hmm. Now, now, it ain't forever. Ain't like the time I left the circus. You were in the circus? Sure was. But I got miles to motor before I see my Barney's smiling face. So, we'll save it till next time, okie doke. So long, son. <laughs> Jen, honey, little Lulu. Goodbye, um, boys. Well, time to skedaddle. <laughs> yep, there goes my favorite grandma that I am very attached to, and my favorite wooden leg that is very attached to her. <laughs> <laughs>